Hey guys, TSL here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we will be making it so that the double jump, or I should say fly power, will make it so that you can fly using double jump on any device. So this means mobile, computer, and basically the way we had it set up now is we were detecting spacebar presses, which obviously on mobile does not work because you don't have a spacebar unless you have a key keyboard plugged in. So what we can do is Basically, the same thing that we did for our, my double jump tutorial I posted last Saturday. Check that out. It's uh, pretty cool. So, if we go into our fly script here, and we scroll all the way down here. Here we want to do a gain, colon, get service, user, user input service, dot jump request, colon connect function, and here we'll just print jump. If we test here, every time we jump, we should uh, get jump, but what you'll notice is it's going to print out multiple times. See, I jumped and it printed three times, and it seems like it's printing, like, a lot. So, basically, we only want to do it once, or else it could go crazy. So, yeah, that's not good. So, what we want to do is say, on jump request, colon connect function. We'll say if is flying, then what we'll do is we have a function here called jump. Or so we don't even need if is flying because it's done in there. So we could just call jump. But what I want to do is up here make a, or here we'll say local can jump is equal to true down here we will say if can jump then and we'll say else and we'll say wait uh, 0 0.5 and can jump is equal to true and then after we jump here we'll say can jump is equal to false so now if we comment out our old code for that, it's going to throw an error, I'm pretty sure, because I don't think I commented out enough. Let's see. Oh no, we did comment out enough. Here, let's just um print jump, comma, can jump. So then we jump, and it says jump and false. So let's go up here. Can jump starts at true. We did get one true print. Um, maybe we have to wait a second. Okay, so I think what we should do is make it so that if not can jump, so if not can jump, so if can jump is equal to false, then we want to jump and set can jump equal to true, wait 0 0.2, and can jump is equal to false in the else statement. So this should make it so that it will never uh, make us start flying on our first jump. So let's try this out. And let's do one, two, one, two. And the only downside to this is you have to click twice to um, exit flying. But I'm pretty sure that's how SPFS has it. And that's kind of good because maybe you might hit your space bar by accident and then just start falling. But as you see, it's pretty consistent. Um, and this seems 
just as consistent, if not more consistent, than in Super Power Fighting Simulator. So, uh, that's that. Alright guys, well that is how you make the jumps or flying work on mobile. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, I was always saying that there was only going to be this video and the teleport uh, power video left in the series, but there's actually going to be a few more videos than that because we will, I will be making some more videos on making this game like more secure to exploiters. So uh, stay tuned for that because you will definitely need that for your game so people can't just give themselves infinite power by spamming the remote events. So turn on post notifications so you don't miss those videos and please subscribe, it really helps me out a ton. And also leave a like on the video, which also helps me out a ton. Anyways guys, that being said, see you in the next one, bye.